approaching to our hotel and this is Sunness. We are approaching to our destination and this is Sunness Commune, a part of Rogaland um, Field Community yeah, in Stavanger. And we will be staying in Clarion Hotel Energy. This is the hotel we are residing right now in three days. That's the Clarion three nights Hotel. Three nights. Three nights. Four nights and four days and three nights. Three nights, yes. That's the hotel we are going to. Take to the left. Now we are here in uh, the hotel, Clarion Hotel Energy. So we just arrived now. Yeah, this is the room. We just arrived right now. And well, it is uh, just uh, fine for us. Well, uh, you're overlooking the sea. Uh, we're looking the seaside, so here at the hotel we are in quartering night now uh, around past seven we arrive here and this is our room double bed and then I'll try to check the I'll try to check the toilet or the bathroom. Yeah. And there is a bathtub. It's okay, Ben. Just try to check. And also yeah, okay. the light. The light. The light. Now you have mm -hmm. to put your card. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Clean and neat and cozy. Clean bathroom and the toilet. There is a bathtub right here and a cozy one. And we have a small fridge. And then we have the uh, cabinet right here. And then the safe. So it's nice. So I am satisfied. Sula Ruin Shirke. Uh, this is uh, called as the Sula Ruin Church. And the stone church can be dated back to the early 11th century and was in use up to 1842. The year 1842. Such a long time. And it, then it stood as open ruin until year 1871. And then the painter, Johann Beneter, bought the site and rebuilt the ruins into a dwelling and studio. And in the period of 1907 to 1940, the church fell into ruin again. So the remaining walls were then torn down by German occupation forces. In the 1980s, the large arc opens or openings were re reconstructed. Today's ruined church is the result of what during 1992-1995 and the church now reflects 900 years of architectural heritage. And this is uh, one uh, tourist spot in in Stavanger, uh, uh, here in Sula Community. And then you can also see there is a monument uh, this is called uh, Olav, or it has been uh, 
what is that? Uh, oh yeah, it has been uh, given or from Lions Club Sula 50 years ago. So it's a gift. Uh, this stone from Astrid sister, the sister of Kong Ola Trig Bagson and uh, a gift or married me with Arling Chalso. So this stone, the two stones, so it means Arbide work through scap or what is that? Freedom and then uh, Astrid Sister de Kong Ulav Trigvason married to Arling's Shawson. doing this mass service here I think because I can see the the chairs down there and uh, this really uh, an old church and the view is overlooking the North Sea Just imagine all the stones there are all um, old ones. The fence here is really old. And also the gate. So that's the Sula Ruin Shirke, Ruin Church. It was built a long time ago in the 11th century. So I can just imagine that until now it is still here and it's been um, preserved and really a nice place to visit. Well, well, we so arrived here in Harsfjord. It's a rich for uh, history uh, here in uh, Norway. Uh, and uh, you see the, the one, the monument, it's, uh, we have the three sword. The area around Harsfjord uh, is rich in ancient history. And from the monument sword, fjell or swords in rock to the monument, that is the blanket that is uh, in Norwegian, but in English it is broken chain at Simi Uden. There is a nine kilometer long cultural heritage trail. Brutlenke was erected after the capsizing um, of the accommodation rig Alexander Shilan in 1980. And the monument sword field was erected in 1983 to commemorate the Battle of Hartfield, which took place around the year 872 before Christ or AD. And the monument uh, was actually decided or was designed by the sculptor Fritz Ruud. It is modeled in on three Viking swords found at different locations in Norway. So, uh, guys, the one you, you can see it there now, uh, the three swords, and the swords have been placed in the bedrock not to be used anymore to encourage people to live in peace. And the middle sword is 9.2 meters tall and represents the victorious King Harold fair hair. And the two other shorter swords symbolize the defeated chieftains. Now the monument was unveiled by King Olaf V of Norway in 1983. And the footpath is nine kilometers long and starts at Sword Ifjell and will take you along the harsh field up to the monument Brutlenke in Kranavika. And along the path there are several prehistoric monuments and sites. And this one that was the, a long time ago that you can see all the Vikings in the boat, boats because they have been fighting with each other. So actually this is a historical place 
here in uh, here in this uh, what they call this one this place we can see there are some people around here taking some bad things or swimming and uh, we can check it out here right now uh, you see that's the sword huh yeah <laughs> yeah and that's the sword yeah and it's very difficult to uh, take it out because it is uh, a solid one and wow it's really stone made of stone yeah so where are you so very nice place indeed. Yes. guys good morning everyone good afternoon and good evening to all here is my comar and compadre and my hubby and we are in spain <laughs> sula spain sula spain capital city is tavanger <laughs> yes the neighboring the question is that we don't have so much sun today but the weather is just perfect and you can see there are lots of yeah Another people bird. <laughs> uh, swimming even though it's a little bit cold but it's still okay and well we are enjoying our tour here in Sula Siden or Sula Beach Tavanger in Spain yes Arrivederci. <laughs> yes have a nice day guys That Corona, my Corona wrist, Extra. My wrist, Corona, the corona like And then you have your San Miguel. San Miguel beer. San Miguel beer. And I have the sexy Coke, Cola, and you got water. Gin, gin tonic. Gin, gin tonic. tonic. Okay. Gin tonic. Without alcohol. Alcohol <laughs> free. Shopping mall. And we have to the next store mall and it's uh, quite big, right? It's quite a big, a big place here in the Stavangers uh, shopping mall. And uh, we try to check it out here. What can you say, what can you say about, about the mall? Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Fantastic. Ha, 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 ha.